what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna talk about the steps that i took to loving myself now listen y'all i didn't always love myself i wasn't always confident i wasn't always like oh yeah i feel good it takes steps it takes steps to get to where you need to be it takes a willpower, a dedication, determination, consistency. You know, you got to be willing to put in the work if you really want to the end all be all to be confident and love yourself and and feel, you know, just amount of love inside for everything, not just yourself. You know, it takes a lot of work. Now, I did have to go through battles and tribulations to get where I am today. But it was so much worth it. I don't regret any of it. I did make mistakes down the line. But that's what it is all about. Growth, evolving, maturing. It is all about you making mistakes. And you being patient with yourself through those mistakes. Understand that you don't... You barely know yourself. You don't even know who you are today. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be the same person I am right now in the next year or two or three we're we're we just evolve we're just gonna keep moving forward okay so this is the steps that I took now it started back in I would say my my evolution to self-love took a span of I think about five years a span of five years um it was on and off um because I started in the midst of me when I was when I was going through my addiction problems and um, I was just, my mental, my mental was just so, so bad. I was depressed and my anxiety was at its highest. And I just, I was in a toxic relationship and I was also toxic. Shoot, I'm still healing from my toxicity. And I just, I just attracted toxic people because I was a toxic person. And I was also emotionally unavailable. And at that moment in time, it's what I attracted around me. And I was addicted to like partying and just all these other things, all these exterior things I was addicted to that avoided, that made me avoid myself. I was willing to pay attention to everybody else, give everybody else what they needed and stuff like that because I didn't want to pay attention to myself or my own self growth. This is when it started like my gym, my gym rat finally i started being like a bigger gym rat right i started going to the gym more um in the midst of this my life crumbled a lot of things happened in my life uh, back in 2019 i was it 2019 or 2018 2018 before covid my life completely crashed and i felt hopeless i was like how am i gonna do this um my friend sent me this one video about um being mindful at nighttime i start i for the first time to help me sleep because she knew she knew i was depressed and she sent me this video um to help sleep and to like clear your mind to wake up feeling better and i forgot this man's name but i listened to his like talk and just something about that just changed something inside me for the first week i listened to it every single night and then i was like okay and then I started getting into more sleeping videos. I started getting into subliminals. Um, I started getting to sounds and everything. And then I started getting like, eventually the next year I started getting into like the foods that I eat, how they energetically like um, change my frequency, you know, like, like healthy foods versus processed foods. And it just, it started shifting my whole mindset about what I'm seeing, what my reality is, how to shift my reality, how to shift my mentality. And this is before I started going um, like inside about my trauma. I was still like, okay, I like this feel good, this bliss and stuff like that. Eventually, I went through like this crazy spiritual awakening in, I would say 2021. Um, I went through a divorce. Then right after the, well, I was going through a, um, a breakup, which was a divorce. And then I hopped into another relationship right after that. I didn't even give it time. I was like messy. I messed and like, I was like, I didn't want to feel. And then that and then that ended that didn't last long and then that's when i was like okay 
time to sit with myself time to really sit with myself i'm tired of hopping in relationships and relationships knowing that i'm not healed knowing that i'm not ready knowing that i haven't taken time for myself to really fix myself to really heal to really you know put in my work and i'm tired of toxic relationships this is before i was even self-aware too that i wasn't self-aware yet i just know that i wanted to go on a spiritual journey and i did i sat i ordered a self-help book a spiritual book and I read it and I took a week off of work and I sat in my room and I meditated for a whole week straight. I cried, whatever I had to do. And like after that week, I just felt this enormous amount of bliss, like a Kundalini awakening. I felt like a whole different person. Now this bliss would last for like, for a, this bliss lasted for like three to four days. It was magical, it was crazy. Um, And I kept going, I, I kept reading my book, I kept like, focusing on my spiritual journey let alone i still have not yet self self-reflected on my own behaviors in my own you know toxic habits i still was in you know like i was still like okay just getting to know my spiritual journey but i wasn't really diving into my shadow i was just more like inner child work but not really working on and fixing not learning how to do boundaries or set standards and stuff like that I wasn't good at that yet I'm still not good I actually still learning that but I have learned to love myself more throughout and have patience and grace for myself because then I got into a relationship again which um it's my recent breakup and uh this this relationship specifically really really taught me to dive in you know really taught me to go in myself and really sit with my thoughts, question my thoughts and my whole reality to question me, to question how I think, how I act, how I am, you know. And I, I truly think every relationship is either a lesson or a blessing, you know. Whatever it is, take it as it resonates. Every relationship is meant, whatever happens in your life is meant to happen. You understand your reality is based off what your own beliefs are about yourself you attract what you believe about yourself if you don't believe in love you know like love is not gonna come you know and that's the same belief i had an i have an abandonment wound and a love wound and when i attract people they they leave because it 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 i push them away i'm not even knowing you know because i want it so bad i give them that anxious energy and that anxious energy pushes them away because I'm usually drawn to uh, um, avoidant people and I'm the anxious one. Just like, give it, you know, like I just want love so bad. And then the truth is I'm abandoning myself. I stopped, I stopped doing what I love. My passions are, I stopped doing my passions, my daily, you know, rituals, like the things that I love to do for myself and what makes me happy. I stopped putting in time for myself and I abandon myself in the relationship. And so it makes me feel like I need to grab, grab at somebody else. Like, hey, love me because I'm not loving me. And when I realized that, when I realized I kept asking for love because I wasn't showing myself that love. Whenever you're asking for it, that means you have to show yourself it. You're basically like your inner child's crying out like, yo, show me some love. Here I My bad, you guys. My camera ran out of storage. But whenever, like I was saying, yo, your inner child saying, yo, show me some love. You know, like it wants you to pay attention to yourself. You know, that's what it's asking. It's asking for validation, for assurance. And that's why you keep wanting it from somebody else so you have to show yourself that so what i've been doing is doing the shadow work and sitting with myself when i start getting anxious i sit with myself and i'm like it's okay maribel and really like sit with myself it's okay it's okay to feel this way you're safe with me and you have to tell yourself you're safe it's okay to feel like because you feel this like it's, it's your body like you're 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 anxious your nervous system it doesn't know how to process it like like you have to tell yourself you're safe you have to sit with that feeling and you have to sit with it. I know it's uncomfortable and I know it's like overwhelming and you feel like the world could be crumbling at that very moment, but sit with it. You have to give yourself space to sit with your emotions. Once you start sitting with your emotions and giving yourself that space, oh my goodness, it's like you're reborn because you're finally giving yourself the love that you've always asked for in other people. You're sitting with yourself and you're giving yourself that love. And when you hold space for yourself, you hold space for your inner child and the inner work 
that you did need you know and you will start attracting that type of love that you want because you're giving yourself that love so it's gonna you know reciprocate on the exterior your reality because you're you're sitting and you're giving yourself that love so that's my journey on self-love and how i got to where i am today i hope you guys were able to just like you know see a little bit of my life you were able to hear a little bit about me and how long it took me to get where i am i hope one day you know you guys can show share your story with me about how you found yourself or how you found love within yourself and your challenges that had to come with being who you are today because it's all part of who you are and you can't control your past but you can control your present and you don't know what's come for the future you know so be here in the now. I love y'all. Y'all subscribe, like, comment, and share. And let me know what you guys want to see next. Peace.